Weatherland Weather 101. This Ooh. is called a day of transition. It is. A couple of hours ago it was sunny. Now it's cloudy and mm. something's on the way. Yes, so we've got a lot of dry air, mm. but we've got some higher clouds moving in. And you know the cirrus clouds, when they move in, Neil, Mayor's that is a sign of change. And that's exactly what we have Come in the on. forecast tonight. Severe weather outlook, level three enhanced threat for portions of deep east Texas. I'll tell you that's in the orange. The remainder of us, with the exception of the slight risk for extreme southern Anderson and Houston counties and Sabine and San Augustine counties, you're under a marginal risk. That is the lowest level. And we might see some brief times of hail for places like Tyler, Longview, and Jacksonville, but that tornado threat is going to remain very low. Right to future cast. Clouds, they increase after 8 o'clock this evening. Will be mostly cloudy with some rain in the area tomorrow morning. So be prepared for some water and potentially some ponding on the roadways as you head to work or school tomorrow. And then as we head into noontime, we will be watching an area of showers and thunderstorms in deep east Texas. Temperatures will be warming up. That means we'll have some energy and some spin in the atmosphere. And when that happens, that will increase the threat of severe weather and the threat of tornadoes. Five o'clock still tracking those storms in deep east Texas. It's not going to be until late tomorrow night, meaning 11 o'clock. Thursday night or technically early Friday morning until the storms move off to the east. The front's going to move through later in the day Friday and we will start to see that sinking air behind the front and it will be completely clear by Friday afternoon. Here are the severe weather threats. <coughs> Tornadoes that is a high that is a higher threat for deep east Texas. Now if you live in Tyler Longview and Jacksonville, I don't expect any tornadoes. I think the warm front's going to be a little too far to the south for that. But if we do see some training of thunderstorms, meaning one storm after another, after another in one place, the flash flooding threat is going to be a medium. The wind and hail threat pretty low at this time. Tornado probability, it is a 10% threat there in deep east Texas, and that's exactly where we're going to be watching. And again, this is warm front driven. What the warm front is going to do is it's going to move from south to north, and it's going to increase the severe weather and tornado threat, especially between the times of three o'clock tomorrow afternoon and very early Friday morning. And most of you will see rainfall most of the day. So Thursday does look to be a washout and uh, building on that. We could see one to two inches of rain for portions of East Texas, especially the further southeast you go. It will be a little lighter the further northwest you go, but everybody sees between a half inch and two inches of rain tomorrow. Now it's been a beautiful day, so enjoy this while it lasts. We're in the 50s and 60s, but as Neil mentioned, that cloud cover continues to increase. Overnight tonight, 53. High temperatures tomorrow in the 60s, but again, a little warmer in deep east Texas, and that will increase that threat of severe weather. Heavy rain at times tomorrow, but that severe weather threat is low for Tyler, Longview, and Jacksonville. Not really a tornado threat or anything like that, but we will be dry Friday. Upper 60s Saturday and Sunday will be dry for most of next week. If we do see a tornado, it will likely occur in deep east Texas. That is why we have issued a severe weather alert day for Thursday, maybe a shower or two Friday and Saturday. Neil. All right, Dallas Mavericks had to go a big change in ownership.